Hello, it's Anna here from Three Chooks Lampshades and I'm going to show you how to roll your lampshade edges. So make sure you're lined up perfectly with the edge of your lampshade paper. Start rolling on your fitted ring, the one with the washer. Now make two little nicks towards the spokes, not all the way to the spokes, just about three quarters of the way. Now we're putting the glue on the top edge of the ring, or inside edge of the ring as I was corrected at my last time showing making workshop. That's just along the top edge there and then the outside edge of the fabric. You can see that on the video. Just the very outside edge of the fabric. Now this glue when it goes on is pretty wet, so there's no hurry to start using, to start getting in there and putting your hands all over it. Give it a little bit of time to go tacky and it probably, I don't know, 20 to 30 seconds here. And just letting that glue go tacky makes it easier to work with. And if you do happen to put your hand on it, it's not going to spread all over the inside of the lampshade paper. Radio. Now I'm going to use my thumb in a rolling action. I'm going to feel the edge of the lampshade paper and firmly pull it over the uh, the ring. Here we go. You can see, there we go. So I've got my thumb under and I'm pushing it down. I need to change the angle of the video for the next part. So I've just pushed it down on the top of the ring and you'll see that I haven't pushed this inside edge right under and around just yet because I just want to make sure that I've really nice and tightly rolled that edge over the ring. I can go back over that a few times if necessary. Now I'm ready to push it in and under. Because I waited for the glue to go tacky, you can see now that the glue that gets stuck on the lampshade paper just rolls off really easily. Just getting that excess glue off with my thumb. Simple. I've got a great little tool that I like to use as well. It's just a chisel. You can also use a, uh, like a kid's knife or a pate knife or you can use a little um, a paddle pop stick, ice cream stick. This is the tool I'm going to use. It's just a little chisel. It's a 9mm chisel. It's pretty sharp and that's, that sharp edge is really useful. There we go. So I've done that and I'm just grabbing that edge and pushing it under and around. Then I put my lampshade just on the edge of the table and I can come back down and around with my tool again. Makes it just really nice and neat. I'll just to show you the inside of the lampshade now. There we go. That's nice and neat. Let's try again on a different angle. Okay, this time I am going to pull out the fabric as much as I can to where I can feel the tug of the glue so that I don't miss any sections of glue as I'm going along. Now once again the glue goes on the top edge, 
top edge of the ring or the inside edge of the ring. And then I get right in there in that little corner and go along the edge of the fabric. Once again, I am going to be very patient with the glue. No hurry to jump in and start, start trying to fiddle with it because the glue works much better if you wait for it to go a bit tacky. for it to go tacky. Now I'm going to show you on this angle how I use my thumb to go under the lampshade paper and push it around. So I feel the edge of the lampshade paper here and come over and nice and firmly and firmly making that over the top. I'm not pushing down on that outside edge yet because I don't want it to stick too much to the left shape paper. Okay. All the way along I can still feel the edge of the lampshade paper there. You want to be able to feel that so you've got a nice flat edge. Okay, now I'm coming around. I'm just tucking in that bottom part in. Tuck, tuck, tuck. And you can do that with your tool as well. The other tool that sometimes I use is just one of these paddle pop sticks. Tuck it in. Just remember, in between every time you glue, you just rub your thumb along there to get that excess glue off. And by waiting for the glue to go tacky, it just comes off so much easier. If you don't wait for it to go tacky and it just smooshes all over the lampshade paper, you end up with smeared glue there and you just can't make it roll up. But if you're patient, let it go tacky and then you just roll it with your thumb a bit and all that glue just rolls into balls and comes straight off. And once again, you're going to put it on the edge of the table. Come back down with your tool. What this does as well is it tightens the lampshade because you're grabbing onto the fabric as you do this. There we go. So you can see that's a nice rolled edge. Thanks for watching. This has been Anna at Three Chooks Lampshades. Threechooks.com.au. Uh, if you like what you see, please like my video and if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing, join up to my channel. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Come see me at threechooks.com.au. Bye.